Hi guys, it's Erica. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, it's been a while. Let me tell you, that was weird to say. It's been so long since I've even filmed, let alone posted. Um, but hi, I've missed you all. <laughs> um, I have a lot of videos that I've filmed over like the past few months that I haven't been uploading that I just not have had, have not had motivation to edit. Um, two of which being unboxing like hundreds of Billy albums and my fan sign albums and Polaroid from the two fan signs I've won. Which also speaking of, if you guys want me to post those videos, please let me know because yeah, I have them filmed. I have the videos like kind of ready. I just have to edit, but they would be fun because it's just going through and sorting like a fuck ton of Billy albums. And then one of them is showing obviously my two fan sign albums and my Polaroid that I won, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, shout out my Instagram at Chim's Trades. Um, you wouldn't know that I won, but during Ginga Minga Yo era, I won a group fan sign, um, which was the one that Suhyun wasn't in. So I didn't get to meet Suhyun. And since she's my alt, I then applied for the last fan sign for her like solo call and I won that, which was very fun. So yes. Anyways, I thought this would be a fun video to have as my comeback as a little storing video, I have stored a ton of things recently um, that you just haven't seen. So you'll see a lot of updates in my collections because I don't really remember the last thing I've shown you all. But um, I got a package from my Korean address in today, which I didn't film an unboxing because it was like both mine and my friend's stuff and she was here with me. So we were unboxing it together, which was really fun. But I have all this stuff to put away. So we're going to put this all away. I don't know if I'm going to talk or it's going to be time lapsey. I really don't know. I did also want to say I have all these from the Permission to Dance like soul um mini photo card sets that I have to put away plus the merch box 7 I want to say photo cards and the merch um the membership kit photo card set that I finally got in. Um, and I have zero eight pocket sleeves, like literally none. So I cannot store these, sadly. Um, so I need to buy eight pocket sleeves, but I just wanted to share that I do have those. Yes, but other than that, we have a ton of new groups. We have some, we have a ton of groups. We have some new ones as well. Um, as you can see. So we do have BTS. Most of this stuff is stuff that I got a while ago, but was just too lazy to store. Like it's all deco kit stuff basically. Um, plus like ah, ah, exciting things. Um, plus the DeFesta merch and then like some membership and merch kit stuff. Then we have WJSN, which um, has some things, but also guys, Guys, ah, exciting stuff, let me say. Um, then we have some Yuri stuff, which we will talk a bit more about my Yuri collection once we get there. We have a ton of Billy stuff. That's like the big bulk of it, plus that. Weekly stuff, which is also like, I haven't had weekly stuff in so long. We have some new collections, which we'll talk to when I get there, but we have Ive and then um, La Seraphim. So BTS isn't like the most stuff, but a lot of it is larger inclusions and I'm gonna have to get a lot of pages out. So I think we're gonna do that last cause that's gonna be the most tiring. I think what we're gonna do is start with ESO and then um, La Seraphim, then Weekly. Then uh, I guess I'll just get all the A5 binders out of the way. So then we'll do Billy, Yori, Wujus, and Bong BTS. Yeah, okay, slay. Um. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to talk to you guys and tell you a bit about what life's been like. Um, Cause it's been so long, so much has happened. But yeah, hopefully I end up getting this video up. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'll be back. This is a new A5 binder that you have not seen on my channel yet. Um, it's like incredibly full. I'm gonna need more, but I just don't have enough A5 binders right now um but yes i set up originally just for iso um which i did also okay so start i have decided to pick up um liso when love dive came out i was obsessed with it still am and originally when 11 came out too i really wanted to pick her up but i didn't 
and I just said literally fuck it. I would think I was sad and so I just decided to do it and I bought all her cards in a day that I want to collect. So I decided to collect two album cards per era plus the K-Town Pob. However, I did buy both the 11 like album photo cards plus the K-Town Pob, but they weren't in my paceable package. Like I requested it to be merged, but they weren't there. So I sent an inquiry to Paceable to see if the package is still at their warehouse. Hopefully it is um, because it was expensive. And if it is, well, they'll send it out to me in like the next one and this will be complete. Otherwise, um, I hate to say this because I literally just collected her, but I might drop her because I don't want to go through the stress. Like these and the K-Town one, I paid like too much money for and I don't want to spend that money again, especially with... BTS comeback coming up and um, Yuri's comeback. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see how that goes. But well, these are her two love dive. Well, these are two of the three K Tone Pops from, or no, my God. These are two of the three album photo cards from Love Dive. I just got my two favorites. And then this is the K Tone Pop, which I'm obsessed with this. Um, yes. So I'm just gonna put the K Tone Pops together here. So cute. And then we move on to weekly. I'll do them next. Um, so most of it is play game awake and most of it is Joa stuff. Um, I did change up my weekly collection yet again. I don't know what the last you saw was, but I'm not collecting pops anymore. I just I don't know, collecting weekly hasn't been as fun for me. Um, just because I really do not like love their comeback, like their most recent one. But I don't want to stop collecting them because I have like a sentimental attachment. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Um, I have the jump tarot card. No, this is. <gasps> oh, me being an idiot. This is the jump tarot card. And this is her, I don't know what's the other version, up, like normal photo card. Slay, fuck, well. Yeah, now I'm just missing this one card for her, which is nice. I believe this one's also new to the collection that you've seen. And then I finally got um, Sujin's hot milkshake photo card. Um, so this page is done. I believe this one's also new since the last you've seen this. So now I'm just missing two photo cards for play game holiday, which is exciting. And then we move on to um, this. So... <laughs> I don't remember what card is what, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me pull out a template, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, hello, so I sorted it all out. Um, I do not remember the version names. This is the first version. Um, and I wanted to have these two cards first because they're my faves. I have most of Joa's, I think I'm missing like two maybe. Or maybe I'm just missing one actually. Um, cause I basically just posted like a want to buy on Ktwit and a ton of people responded with like a ton of Joa's, but then no one responded with Sujin's until like a while after at the point where like I wasn't buying them anymore. Like I was like on a buying hiatus or focusing on other collections. Um, but yeah, so that's why there's like not many Sujin in here, but I do have this one. I think I only have two of hers out of 10. Um, yes, and then we have these Joas. So that will complete like Joa's normal album cards for this version. And then um, I have both Joa and Sujin's first press cards for this version. So cute. And then the first press cards for the next version will go here. And then I have, that's the one um, Joa card I'm missing. Then I have the rest here. So this is the next version, the white back. And I think I want to do this. I did not love the rest, like, her cards for this version. Um, I think this one and then the first press is really cute. But other than that... So here we have the other two album cards. Um, which, these outfits really just give me, like, God Bless America vibes. I don't know why. <laughs> like the colors, but yeah. Not my favorite look, but she's still super pretty. Um, and then I have her platform version cards, which I was not gonna collect this one, but they gave it to me like as the set, so I'll store it for now. 
Um, and they sent me the album too, which I was not expecting, but yes. And then this card, which is the platform selfie one. And then the seller that sold me like some of these gave me a free um, Sujin, I don't know which round this is, but with Drama Pop, which this like, I loved this set and I wanted to get them so bad. But I didn't want to spend the money and I got a free one. So I'm just gonna keep it and I will get Joa's one day, which will replace this. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep her there as a placeholder. Yes. And then as you can see here, um, I have just like remainder pops that like I'm not collecting anymore, but don't want to sell off. And then back here, you'll see I have my black pink collection, which I don't know if the new collection has been featured on my channel, but I did downsize quite a lot as you can see here. Um, I'm just going to collect Jenny album cards for the future, and then I just kept my favorite non-album stuff. Yeah. Now we need to add in La Seraphim, um, who's going to go before I've, but this binder is already really full, so it's probably not the best idea to add another group, but I don't know what else. I do have this Beyond D binder as well that I'm storing my extra sleeves in, so like I could probably keep black pink in one binder and then transfer like weekly i've and la seraphim into another but for now we're just gonna go with this so the seraphim needs three sleeves i think for now um so yes i did pick up la seraphim i was planning on it when chaewon redebuted to collect her because i just ugh, love chaewon so much um, she was like my second bias in Eyes One, and Eyes One was like an alt group of mine, if you didn't know. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to collect her, and I knew she was pretty expensive, but like I was like prepared for that, which is why I didn't really collect her much in Eyes One, because like she was really expensive, um, and I was also collecting Yodi at the time, who was not particularly cheap. Um, so... Yes, but now that she's re-debuted, I've decided to collect just, like, what I like of hers and also what I like of Yoonjin. Here is what I have so far, and this is all I'm planning on getting. I know they have some more, like, shoppy and, like, like other things, um, and if in the future, like, when those release, I think they're really cute, I'll buy those as well. I would like to get maybe, like, two more Yoonjin PCs or something because right now I have six Chaewon and four Yoonjin, but... We'll see. Like I said, I just bought whatever I thought was pretty and we're just gonna roll with it. So here's what I was planning. I was gonna have a page just for Yoonjin. Um, and then for Chaewon, I wanted to put like, like I don't think this album card matches the others, but I feel like it'd be better to have the two album cards together, you know? Um, but I feel like, like this looks so good. So I think we're gonna do that. This kind of looks best, so we're gonna do that. So this is her K-Town for you pop, which boy was this a bitch to get. But I got it. This is her black whatever. I don't know. And I don't know the album versions, they're weird. But one of her album cards. And then this is the I don't know which Lucky Draw is which, but I know one is Soundwave and then one is MTU, I believe. Um but that'll be that. And then I'll put the other two I have. So this is the other album card. I know that they have the like concept photo ones. But I didn't want to get those because they're pretty expensive. Like because J1. And also they're just not my favorite. And then this is the one of the Weavers pops. I think this is like the Weavers global pop. I'm not 100% sure. It's one of the Weavers pops, but it's really pretty. I'll write it on the screen maybe, but it's really pretty and I love the hollow and I think she looks super cute. So, slay. And then I'm just gonna put this little envelope that the album cards come in here for now. I did not buy the album um, because I just wanted, like, I didn't want, this sounds bad, but like I just wanted chain one PCs. I only decided to collect Yoonjin after they debuted. Um, so I didn't want to buy the album and then just like have to trade. I just wanted to buy the photo cards I wanted. And then for Yoonjin, so I have one album photo card, and then I think we're gonna put it like this. Yeah, so this is one of her album photo cards. I just loved the like racer concept, race car driver concept. This is her neighbor pop, which is also hollow. 
which is super pretty. Um, again, these are, I believe this is Soundwave and this is NTU, but these are two lucky draws. I'll write them on the screen again. Um, this one, as well as like this one, are not in the race car driver outfits like I thought they would be, but you can't really tell. And like the black kind of matches with like the outfits and like hers, the hair kind of matches and you can't really see the outfit. So I just think it looks cute still. Um, and I really like the way the page looks. And then this is the other lucky draw, of course. So yeah, and she's doing like this. I love, oh my God, her cards are so cute. She is so slay, yes. So that is La Seraphim, baby. So cute. And then I, so this binder is overflowing. Um, and I do think I'm gonna split it up into like album and non-album soon. Um, I've also been thinking about dropping Sean maybe about dropping Suyan, not Suyan, Suyan, Sean, maybe, um, and just collecting Haram and Suyan, just because, like, they are my top two, um, and I don't know. So, let us start. I've tried to sort it all as best I can. I will have to add sleeves, though. So, to start, we have Haram's album, Photo Cards, from Village of Perception. Um, yep, and then the ID. I do have another one of these tickets because I have two of the albums. I just need to get it and put it in the binder. But, yes, so that is cute. And then for Suhyun, I think this has been shown on my channel before, but um, I'm not collecting, as of now, I decided to not collect all pops from Village of Perception and just collect my favorites. Um, so that's why it's not like Suhyun Haram, Suhyun Haram, and it's just going to be Suhyun and then Haram because I didn't collect the same ones. Um, but yes, Suhyun is almost complete except for this one, which is her K-Town Round 1 pop. And this pop was the absolute death of me, but guys, she is here. After all my years and years of searching for her she is here and she is mine and i'm so very happy to say that she is because i love this pop and it was a freaking nightmare i paid way too much money for a pop for a rookie group but i don't even care so my suhyun pops are now done which is so slay of me and so pretty um then i do have one haram pop page for now I do have more though, so we're gonna see. I think, like, I think I wanna put these two on this page, maybe. These two. <gasps> yeah, okay. Reorganizing time. Um, so this is. Everline 1, Everline 2. I forget which one this is. I want to say B Road, but I don't think that's true. Um, and then this is K-Town 1. I'm still waiting. Like, I'm trying to find her DMC pop. Oh, no, this is K-Town 2. I'm trying to find her DMC pop, but I can't find it for sale. So, once I do find it, I'll have one more than I need. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I'm just going to worry about that when I get there. But I just love them so much. Getting to meet them was such an amazing experience. And thank you all so much if you're watching this and you joined my group orders um, for joining and allowing me to experience it. Then we have, I believe this is Music Korea. This is Mi Hua Dong. And then one of these is Sonara 2. I think this is Sonara 2 and this is Make Star. Yes. Slay. Oh my god, it's so cute. She's so pretty. Um, and then I have three of her Snowy Night merchandise cards. I don't know versions, um, but I just got three because the fourth one is like far away. Um, and yeah. And then I have the 30,000 won benefit card. Slay! So that's my little mini Haram collection for Pops. Um, and then we have the Sean um, Sewing Night set. Then we move on to Pops. So then we have a Market Shop. 
which is this one here. Oh my god, the lighting's going fast. I still have a lot to put away. Then this is K-pop merch or Shopee. And then we have K-Town for... Oh, this is in the wrong order. I believe this is K-Town for you. I guess it's round three. Um, not four, because like the lucky draws kind of makes this round four. Yes. And then we have Everline 3, the video call. And then the fan sign. And then we have the Dear My Muse 4 video call in one-to-one. -one. I forget which one this is. It doesn't really matter. I know the other one's pink. So I think I'm going to put this one. I'm just going to put this one here for now. Um, and then when the other one comes in, we'll see. Because there was like a group and then a one-to-one -one and they had different pops. So that's what these are for. Um, anything that like I don't store here like this. And then the Sonara two um and then beat road and dmr muse four i think i all joined group orders for on kwit from the same person so those are at my korean address right now but i don't have them on hand um and then these are the with fans lucky draws which these stress me out so much to get i spent so much money on them because well not a lot like it was within my budget but i definitely could have gotten them for cheaper if i just waited a bit but I wanted to get them right away so I could just sleep peacefully knowing that they were in my hands, that I had gotten them, so. Yes, and then we have the With Fans merch photo cards. So this is the like merch card and then the, I think 20,000 won benefit card. So cute, I love this card. Um, and then this is JJ Muse 2 and then Beat Road. Which, for Beach Road, I joined a group order on KTwit. Um, and then the group order manager was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I never hosted a Beat Road group order, so like, I don't have the albums. I'll just refund you. At least I got my money back, but these pops were so hard to find and going for so much money. I got Suhyun's for like a really good price, which is this one. But Haram and Sean's, I got for a price that I was willing to pay. Um, but it was not like a good price it was cheaper than i had seen and then right after i started seeing sean's for like half the price like constantly but i still have not seen haram's sale like sell for cheaper than i bought it for so it's okay um but this is dmc and this is where sonara level two will go and then these are both make star i believe this is the one-to-one -one call and then the group call and then this is where dear my muse four will go plus the sticker which are both on the way yes Okay, so then we have Haram and Sean, JJ Muse one, and then Market Shop, which I love. Haram's Market Shop. Sean's isn't my fave. Um, I feel like, I don't know. I don't love all her pops from this era, but yes, I love Haram's. So cute. And then this is K-pop merch. I didn't write like notes after this, so next should be K-Town. Um... And I think I have to add sleeves in here maybe too. I don't know. These are both K-pop merch and then K-Town. I love both of these so much. Slay. And then these are Everline 3 video call. Which I love Haram's and Sean's for this. And then the fan sign. Which again, Sean's for this one isn't my favorite. But I really, really like Haram's. Haram just knows how to take selfies. Like my girl... She knows her angles and poses. And then... Oh god, what's next? Um, so these are the With Fans Lucky Draws we'll put first. But for this era, I did collect all pops and everything. Um, even though I didn't for Billage of Perception. So that's why I think like maybe one day I'll go back and try and get them all. But yeah, so that's that. And then we have the With Fans... Um, like benefit and merch photo cards i think that's it yeah so i think i'll put the benefit cards at the top even though i know for oh and this actually no okay we'll put these at the top so these are the merchandise cards um that you got like a set for and then these are the twenty thousand one. i think it was twenty thousand. it might have been 30 but these are the benefit cards um, which are so cute. I love Sean's so much. 
And then this is for Beat Road. This is DMC. And then I think, yeah, this will be Sonora 2. This is Dear My Muse, or no, Make Star 2, 1 to 1 in group. And then this will be the Dear My Muse 4 and the stickers. Yes. And then um, these are just like leftover cards I have. These are some of the other ones that I just really liked and couldn't get rid of, um, including some pobs. Oh, I do have two extra spots, so I can't keep two more pops. I just have to figure out which ones I want to keep. Um, and then I do also have these to store. I didn't even buy these. Um, they just gave them to me. Um, like, in the group orders I joined. So, let me see if I even have enough sleeves. So, yeah, I thought I was just getting, like, um... Haram, Sean, and Suhyans because like I bought their member sets from the group orders I joined, but they just gave me like the full set twice. So basically, I joined one group order managers go for Haram and Sean, and then another for Suhyan. And the one that I joined the Suhyan one for gave me two Suhyan film strips, and the one I joined Haram and Sean for gave me two full sets. So now I have four Suhyan film strips, and then two for everybody else. So I figured I'd just store like one full set and then I'll sell off the rest, I guess. And then how do this gonna be all alone? Cause these are pretty cute. We got so much stuff though in these damn orange outfits. Oh, Sean's film strip is so cute. And these are from the Who's Fan pop-up. Um, and then we got, there's like these cute little sticker hollow things, um, which is so cute. And I got, I have three of them, I think. So we're just gonna store them here. Cute. Oh my God. I don't even want to see how full it is. Holy shit. Ah, horrible. I would do a flip through, but since it's almost June, my like, collection thingy will be coming out soon so we're not going to do that just yet but that was all billy so this is my wgsn binder again it's been quite a while i think since you guys have last seen it um i don't know i think there's some new exciting things that have been added that you haven't seen yet um so we'll go through everything but i have a lot of really exciting things to store today so yay um okay so this is this binder cover i made i think you've seen this okay hold on okay it's getting pretty dark outside, so I don't know how the rest of this is going to go. I will say, I also have this postcard I need to store. Um, let me not forget about that. Plus, I have had these just sitting in my drawer forever. Um, I just need to store Luda's. So, I don't know if much, much has changed. I'm so sorry for the glare. Um, let's see. I don't know if you've seen this, but I did change this layout. I still don't like it. I just don't know how to store four cards for three people. I need to figure something out, but this is the motive for right now. Um, I did finish Yeon Jong's Happy Moment set, though. And then I finished Dream Your Dream for the, like, all four. This is on the way, so I'll have Would You Please complete, and I completed Would You Stay. Before the summer has been complete. I am working on... My top three for the summer sign photo cards. We have two out of nine, but that's two more than I had last time you saw. So we're getting somewhere. About time, I think I've said this in every video with this binder that this is my favorite unit card from Neverland and I don't have it, but I finally caved and just bought it. I just like bought all the unit PCs I was missing to be done. So this is finally complete, which is so cute. So slay of me, I am sorry. And I have this coming on the way with my Luda 5th Ujung kit stuff. But I bought the Luda and Inso unit. So now Luda's units are done. Um, and this is on the way. So this will complete unnatural units. Honestly, I think I have like an extra one maybe, which I'll put here. Um, yes, but cute. But yes, I was just missing these two units, which I bought. So now I'm done with choco me units um which again i might buy like two more to have as in the center or i think i have spare like album photo cards which i could just put the blue back in the center um which would be kind of cute but the suit goes in the so these are both just luda and diome 
Dayong one, so the superhero, no, the colored outfits, like the alien ones, and the suit one, I really, really like this one, I think they look really cute, um, so that completes Choco Me Pop units, and like, all units are now complete except for that one that is on the way, but it's on the way, and these are just really cute, I'm so happy, ah, it's like, they also have, I found it kind of funny, um, this unit, like, really reminds me of this one, because it's kind of the same angle, <laughs> but yeah, and then here we have my little signed Luda album photo card page, I would like to collect all her album cards signed, that is my next project to work on when I am rich, um, for now, I just have this one little as you wish one, and, uh, yes, I have heart cheek super yuppers signed Luda album card, oh my god, if you'll know me, if you know me, this is my favorite card literally ever. I love the heart cheek on idol so much, and Luda's my girlfriend, and she just looks so pretty. Like, her hair looks so pretty. I love the outfit, the, like, pow, her makeup, everything, the pigtails. It is signed to a name. I don't care. I wanted, I, I was gonna die for this. I joined a group order um, to get this signed to my name. The group order manager and proxy fucked up. I got a refund for it, which was good because it was a lot of money, and I got this for, like, a third of the price. And it's still signed. It's not to my name, but I don't care. I just wanted it signed. And so I have it. So yes, that's two out of like a ton done. But that's, again, two more than I had before. Um, yeah, so they're just here. And then I have these. So I completed Luda's broadcasts for Would You Stay? Because I have this one. Um, and then I don't know. Yeah, and then I have this Yoram one, which is really pretty. I finally caved and bought one. So now I'm just missing this one Yoram, and I'll be complete with Would You Stay, which is so exciting. Um, again, I don't know if you've seen this either. I don't know the last you saw, but I've completed Ludo's For the Summer, um, and I got Yeonjung's Summer Girl, so now I'm just missing these two. This has been complete. This we ignore. Um, I have Luda's Secret Broadcast now. This is also new, I think. I don't know if you've seen this or not. But yeah. Um, so I have her Secret Broadcast. Which is so cute. And then I finally got the Happy Girl. Which this was like one of my dream... What's it called? I'll see if I can write it on the screen. Like goal photo cards. Like one of the main ones I wanted, if that makes sense. I forget the word. I'll try and figure it out and write it on the screen, because I just love it so much. I love, like, the card. Um, I think she looks really cute in it, and then also it is a fan sign card, so I wanted to get it signed, and I'm really happy I did for, like, the exact price I wanted to pay for it, and all the hearts are super cute. The sig is a little smudged, as you can see right there, but I don't even care. Like, literally my ideal price and it's so cute. So I'm just really happy to have this. I almost caved and bought it for more. Um, but I'm happy I didn't. And then this is where the stamp photo card will go. So I'm almost complete with um, Happy Moment. I then have... Uh, broadcast! Literally never thought I would own this. But I made an impulse purchase because I got it for a decent price in my opinion. Um, it's not signed, but I don't really care because, like, I was happy with the price and I'm just happy to own it. This is the Chuck Me Home broadcast, um, so I'm very happy to have this because these are really rare and I'm just so happy to add to this section. And then I also have do, 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 do. a natural broadcast! It is, they didn't mention this to me, but I don't know if you can see, there's like slight damage right there, but I don't even care. Again, I got this literally for the exact price I wanted to pay. When these first came out, I was like, I want to pay, I'm not going to say, but like this much money. And they were like, we're not going to, like, I'm not going to, everyone was like, oh, you're not going to find it for that price. Like I was trying to have somebody help me get it. And they were like, yeah, like that's not going to be possible. And then I got it for that price. Um, So patience is key. Again, this isn't signed, but this is like, not obviously she's still really cute but it's not up there in my favorite cards of her so i don't care which is also why i didn't want to spend that much money on it but yes yeah, so a natural is now complete and that's so cute and then i also have um this which i made a toppler for but i'm just gonna take it out right now because i want to store it um this is triple sleeve because i am insane 
But this is the Super Yuppers broadcast, which I do get signed. This is like my second favorite photo card of all time. I just love this so much, like the hair and makeup in this outfit, in this concept plus the outfit. And it's signed, which makes me so happy. And the back is so cute. So yes, that can go here. I am missing this fan sign card. Um, I'll get it one day. It's just, it's not a priority of mine and it's pretty expensive. So yeah, but that is that. So cute. Um, and then I think the only updates that have been to this is the Neverland Tower Records, which I don't know if you've seen or not. And then I have the Super Yuppers Tower Records cards. Um, the Polaroid and the card. I've been literally dying trying so hard to get this off of Cagewit and everybody on Cagewit wants like $50 for it, but I don't want to spend more than like 10 so yeah. And then I have Ludo's for the Summer Tower Records. I just put these here because I don't want to like just get hers and add it to this page because it'll fuck up the like all like the one page thing. I'll have to add another page for one card. Um, but also I don't think I'm getting Yoram and Yanjongs anytime soon. So they're just here and then from here so i finally have her second fan club kit card which this i don't think yeah you can tell it's also damaged they didn't tell me that but it was a really good price so i don't really care this is also a card of hers that i love because i just love her hair in this and i think she looks really pretty here um so i'm very happy to finally have that and then the seller would only sell me this if i bought another card with it um, and this was the only other card that they, like, had that was cheap it like, cheap, and I didn't already have. Um, so this is just her 2020, I think, Seasons Greetings card that, like, came in the kit. I didn't really care to get this one. Um, I just wanted the pop, which I have here, but I'm still happy to have that. So now this page is complete, and I think it looks really pretty. Um, oh, maybe this isn't 2020. Maybe this is 2019, actually. But, yes, then I also added this. This is the hmm, Starship Square, like, unit card of Luda and Dayang from Chakomi. Um, This could go on the pop page, but I didn't know where to put it, so it's just here. And then these are Season's Greetings cards, which I think you've seen. But, yeah. And then the Would You Stand By merch. The online photo card from Super Yuppers. And then another Season's Greetings Thing, which thinking about it now I don't know why this is in such an odd order we're just gonna ignore it and then her fan club kit like the fifth Unjung kit um playing cards will go here and then I'm actually gonna take these out we're gonna do a bit of reorganizing now I have to figure out where to put this um because I did buy my top three for the fifth Unjung kit photo cards so those will all go here because I thought it would be cuter to just have all selfies um for like third fourth and fifth um, but where do I put, this is the question, fourth Ujung kit, should have come out like around here, it was after Chokomi, <coughs> maybe I'll put it here, because it was before Unnatural I think, so you know what? Gonna do some reorganizing right now, and then yeah, these are the Would You Stand By um, like merch cards. They're having another concert soon, like in a week or two, I think. Um, so I'm expecting there to be merch for that, which of course I'll get Ludus for. Um, duh, but yes, this will go here. Okay, that's cute. I'm happy with that then. Um, yeah, so the fifth Udrun kit will go here. And then Seasons Greetings, obviously. I think the only progress I've made on this since you last seen it is Yeonjong Starship Square. I have not looked for these at all, but I need to work on it. Um, and then this is the issue as to why I did not store Luda's bigger stuff sooner because I don't know where to put it. I think I'm just going to put it behind the OG3 things I have. Um, yeah, so let's get some pockets for that. There is some dirt in these because I did drop them on the ground outside, so we're just going to ignore that. Um, oh, also, this is new. This is, um, Luda's, like, little cutout thing from the accordion book from the 2021 Season's Greetings. I wasn't gonna get this, but it was, like, really, really cheap with shipping, so I just got it because it was cute. Um, she's just there because there's nowhere else for her to go. I think there's a postcard in the 5th Ujung kit merch. Um, 
So maybe I'll like put those two on a two pocket page together because I only got Luda's. So we'll see. But I hope this will fit. This is from the Would You Stand By merch. This is her postcard. I do have her Uju Party card coming in the mail. Um, so that'll go up here. And then this is her like A4 little calendar postcard poster from the 2022 season's greetings. Which I hope fits. Oh my gosh. Like, I finally got A4 um, things from Andy Jack. And then this is her little garland thingy. Um, this I'm just going to put on the back. So that is it for WJSN. <sighs> Lord. My collection for them is growing so much. And I'm really, really happy about it. Um, yeah, because I love them so much. Anyways, now we'll move on to Yuri. So, <sighs> so this is what I wanted to talk about with Yuri. Um, I don't really know what I want to do for non-album stuff for her, but I have a few things to add. Um, I finally have another K-Town Pob on the way. So that's progress on that. And then I have three out of the four Aladdin Pops, which were so cheap. I got them all for $3. Um, I forget what the third one looks like, so I'm just gonna put like these three up here for now. Um, like that. Or what the fourth one looks like. But yeah, they were only, the person that sold me these were only selling the three, otherwise I would have bought the full set. But like all three of these for $9. Gosh, yay, okay. Um, that's the only progress I've made since. I think you've seen these be added, um, and then the two JJ Muse, and then I think you guys have also seen these. Yeah. So she is having a comeback on June 2nd. I am incredibly poor right now. So my plan is to just buy one copy of each version, I think, on, like, K-Town, um, and then buy the M-Wave signed albums because those were announced. And then when I have money, I will work on her, like the pobs for that because I still haven't completed Glossy. So I'm not gonna, I don't want to stress about the next era too much. So yeah, <laughs> that's the plan for that. Um, I do have some non-album stuff for her, um, which I just bought in the spur of a moment. I do have some things that like I wasn't planning on getting though. So, I think actually, this is not going to be in chronological order, but these can probably go here. This is the Secret Diary photo book card in the Wise One First fan club kit, I think. And then, or not Secret Diary, this is Secret Time. These are, right? Yeah. Oh, this I don't have yet. Um, these I just bought in a set because I wanted some of them, but like didn't eat all of them. This is the selfie card from Secret Diary. And the AR card. Yay. And then, this is the first fan club, I think, right? Yeah. I don't have any of this stuff. I have a surprise card. And then the Pepsi one, which this is the main reason I bought this set because I wanted this one so bad. And then I have the rest of the Daikon stuff, which I bought a full set of like her whole Daikon photo book. And going through it made me so sad because I miss Eyes one. Um, but these are the other two selfies, which I think I was gonna do them like this. And then the three concepts, which this was definitely going to go in the middle. Yay! And then they also gave me this sticker from the Rewind Blossom merch, which I don't have a spot for, but it is cute. Um, so I think since it's like the same short hair, I'm just going to put it here for now. Yeah. And then they gave me, like, in the full set, I got these, which I don't think will fit in four pockets. 
these are all of her postcards and these make me so sad because on the back there's notes from all the members to her which makes me want to literally sob for hours on end um oh also i have the about yana merch here which i think i'm gonna sell off actually um if you're interested <laughs> but these i'm gonna put back here i just need to see what they'll fit into i think i only have 10 here which doesn't really make sense because there should be 11 um but whatever let's just see what goes well together this one is so cute Oh wait, no. This one is also really pretty. And then the last ones. Which I'm gonna have to cover up the backs of these two, so sorry, one young and knuckle, but one young and knuckle. But cute. Okay. So slay. That's it for Yuri. Um, my baby. I'm really excited for her comeback. I just wish I wasn't so poor and I could buy more. Um, but yeah. Now we want to BTS, Lord. I literally don't even know what goes in what binder for BTS anymore. So we're just gonna see. I believe this is the random merch binder. Um, okay. Which should have room for Daikon. So for DeFesta, which was with Daikon, they did postcards. I, there's three per member, plus I got a group, so I think I'm just gonna store them, like, um, you know, I'm glad you understand, guys, I really am, like, Jimin and then Jungkook, you know what I mean, like, yeah, I don't think the backs, yeah, the backs aren't anything special, um, so... And there is, like, ticket photo cards for this, which I do plan on getting eventually, but they are going for, like, a lot. Um, and although they're pretty, like, I don't really want to spend that much money on it for what it is, so it's really low priority. And I'll just put the group at the back. I don't know if it just cut in half. Okay, let's see. But my phone's gonna die, Slay. Um, so that's that. And then, I think since then, I got jump hooks. Yeah, that. <laughs> um, and I don't think Lucky Draws are in here. Oh, okay, yeah, Slay. So the High um, Insight merch is in here. I was really sad one day and missing them, so I bought these. Um, these are the High Insight Lucky Draws that you got when you bought like butter. Um, yeah, these are German and Jungkook's. They're really, really cute. And I'm really happy to finally have them because I love these photo cards. So, yes, the Hive Insight page, the Hive Insight stuff is now complete. Well, I'm still waiting on this group order to arrive after fucking, like, years. But it will be complete, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I think we have to go into the album binder, maybe, for the concert looking girls. Cut to me being a moron forgetting I have a concert merch binder. Um, this binder also needs expanding. Let's not talk about it. Okay, thanks. I did get one of these in, though. I think this is new. And I have some other new, like, older core merch stuff on the way, which is exciting. But let's cut to it, yeah? Yeah. So, I still don't have Jungkook's Los Angeles one, which I would like to get. Because I did go to the LA concerts, but they're literally the exact same. And I have the Vegas ones. <laughs> so, yeah. I helped somebody. Basically, I joined the pre-sale, um, but I got a code and couldn't end up going to the Vegas concerts. So, I gave my code to somebody else, let them use my account, stuff like that. Because I didn't want it to go to waste. Um, and then they were very nice and got me two albums. Like, they did a little go for their friends. But... 
they got two albums for me and like in return for help like my help to get them the ticket they paid for one for me which was so nice and like if you're watching this thank you so much but um i think they also like prioritized me and gave me the jimin and jungkook i don't know whatever but i was very very thankful so if you're watching this literally thank you i adore you i'm so grateful this these should also be double sleeved and they're not but it's whatever yeah just thank you so much like you don't know how much it means to me um and then this is where jungkook's la one will go and then there is different ones for the vegas live plays um so those will go here hopefully yeah and then those are the difference of like the backs but yes and then again like i said i don't have the proper sleeves um like i have no more eight pocket sleeves so i can't store the other stuff in here but all the permission to dance merch will go here once i get the sleeves so yeah now onto the dvd binder this is so heavy this also needs to be expanded upon i really don't know what to do with the bts collection there's no way i should have this many binders but i do so yeah they're so heavy anyways this is on the way i think you've seen all the junk with dvd photo cards i've added lately but you haven't seen this so friends i pulled about three deco kits i pulled two jungkook and one yoongi whoa whoa my bias line is jkook plus yoongi oh my god and i literally traded jungkook the other jungkook for jimin in like literally a second so this is jimin's since i pulled yoongi's i just decided to keep him um but yeah me pulling two jungkook's life is looking up and then obviously we have the zozu dvds which has two different cards again i have um i think one dvd or two dvds and one digital code on the way which they're the same photo cards so i have three of like the dvd cards on the way and then three blu-rays one blu-ray i joined a group order for in hopes of getting jungkook but yeah so hopefully i can get jkook from that and then just sell off the extra um but i think memories are coming out soon as well which i don't really like thinking about um but yeah so today I have deco kit stuff mainly, but also some membership kit stuff. Like I said, I have more of like the eight pocket photo cards, but I don't have a means to store them right now. Um, deco kit, this is the first one they've done though, so I don't really know where to put it. I think I'm going to put it before like summer and winter package stuff. So like here yeah i'll put it here i think so i wanted to put the photo cards first and then the polaroids but since i bought three of the deco kits i figured i have enough um to do like two pockets for it like a two layout um yeah i should have put them in white sleeves i think I was considering putting them in white sleeves because then I was like, um, you won't be able to see the other, you know, they're double-sided, so, like, you won't be able to see the other thing on the back, like, the other photo. But also, I feel like it's kind of cute this way because then even from, like, the back, it's, um, like, you can still see the full set, if that makes sense, which is why I thought it was cute. And then I have this. Um, yeah, so that's why I decided to do that, because I thought it would be cute, because you can, I don't know if I'm explaining it properly, but, like, you can still see the photo cards, so it's not just, like, a plain white page, you know? Um, so this is the first set. I hate how big this binder is, though, because then, like, like, it's, un like, not even. I think I might just, I've been thinking about doing, um, a binder with like just like nine pocket and eight pocket sized items and then a binder with all the larger um sized items maybe i don't know i need to think stuff through and those are the little covers and then slay okay i don't know if you can see it all but it's really cute i'm really happy we got purple coup photo cards and more blonde jimin cards and then also um, blonde June cards, but mainly purple coup. <laughs> um, and then there's two sets of Polaroids. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing. 
I'm gonna go put this on the side. This Jungkook Polaroid. Oh my god. Literally just kill me. Why? Why am I still alive? I'm sorry. That was aggressive. I really love the deco kit though. And the inclusions were so cute. Um, I'm really happy that we got this. Because I know and Hyphen had their Google kit. Um, our Google package. Um, for quite a bit. And... I was kind of jealous, so I'm happy we got something like that. And then the other set. Fuck! I stored those backwards. No! Wait, did I fuck up the other ones too? None of you told me. Are these also backwards? No. Okay, these are okay. What happened here? Okay. Cute. And then... Here's the larger stuff. This is Deco Kit. This is Deco Kit. I literally just don't want to do this anymore. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am tired and want to take a nap. So, we're going to do the larger inclusion items another time. I might just do that on my own. Um, or I'll do it tomorrow and film it. Who? No, we'll find out. But yeah, I think that's the plan. This is Merch Box 3. <gasps> Boy. I don't remember which Merch Box this is from, but I think it's from after the Merch Kit. So I'm going to put the Merch Kit IDs in here. Not Merch Kit, the Membership Kit IDs in here. Hold on a moment. Yeah, no. I think this is... Correct. Um, and then I stored these without you guys seeing. Yeah. So the larger stuff we're gonna do tomorrow, um, or on my own. So I'm just gonna film an outro now and pretend like I'm doing it on my own. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all, um, for you know putting up with my little hiatus, my little break there. I missed you. Um, I missed filming. I do not particularly miss editing because I'm not a psychopath that enjoys that stuff. Sorry if you like it and I just called you a psychopath. Um, there's a difference in like editing for fun and just like editing, you know? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed my comeback video. Um, if you did, please like it down below and subscribe and if you want to see more of me and my content. This is definitely going to be a movie, so I disappeared for months, but I come back with like a two hour long story video for you guys. Oh my god, Slay. You're welcome. Um, let me know if you want to see the Billy like sorting videos. Um, if you do, I will edit and upload them, I promise you. Those will like come after this. Otherwise, it'll probably be, I don't know what'll be next. Who knows? We'll see. Um, and also let me know if you want to see a video of me setting up for either Yuri's comeback or BTS's comeback or both. Um, for BTS's comeback, I'm prepared. I bought... I'm not going to tell you how much. But I am collecting OD7 for all the album cards as well as the Weavers Pops. So let's just say I bought enough albums to complete that and hopefully pull good pulls. As well, obviously, I'm collecting Jcook for everything. So I bought two albums already in advance to hopefully get the Japanese pops for them and then when lucky draws come out well i'll deal with that then in the meantime i hope you all enjoyed again thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and staying yeah what to, what should i tell you to stream oh my god stream blue flame by la seraphim love y'all peace out bye